The city is asking, what can they be talking about? <laughs> Such different women, what do they have in common? You, Carl. Mm -hmm. Lauren Bacall was legendary in the 1940s as a screen siren who defined the way you whistle by silkily saying, you just put your lips together and blow. The other half of Bogey and Bacall, who was married to Humphrey Bogart until his death in 1957, stars in The Walker playing a high society Washingtonian who likes her arm candy to be Woody Harrelson's male escort. Loosely based on Nancy Reagan's Walker Jerry Zipkin, Lauren says they do come in handy from time to time. Male escorts. I would guess they come in handy sometime. Uh, I unfortunately don't know any, and I live alone, you know, except with Sophie, of course. But um, I don't know. I mean, I think they have a function. Obviously, they had a function during the Reagan administration in a big way, because I knew Jerry Zipkin quite well, and he was very busy, but only with the, with the top ones. He's not interested in any hoi polloi, you know. He only wanted to be with the, the close Reagan pals. Now at 80-something years young, Betty, as she's known to her very close friends, says she still feels she wants the company of men to escort her to the theater. It can be very convenient. I mean, if, if you're a woman alone and you want to go to the theater, it's great to have someone to go with. And um, I, unfortunately, don't have one. I would love to have a male escort, but I don't know. <laughs> the ideal qualities for Bacall's escort would have to be someone who enjoyed women and being seen at high-profile events. The Walker, which also stars Lily Tomlin and Kristen Scott Thomas, opens December 7th in theaters. Searching. Searching.